rainbow and I make cloths while trying to care for animals, people and our planet. I was born in Poland uh, many years ago. I was born just end of 70, so just end of communism area. So I was 10 or something. It was pretty dull growing up in Poland, but I kind of enjoyed it. You know, we didn't have toys and things like that. So I had to make my toys and, and imagine them. And I think that's why I started the paper dolls. Um, I mean, you could buy them in little corner shops, so I had a shoe box full of them. And, um, and I just played with them for hours and hours, designed clothes for them. And the best one was called Bata. And uh, she had this beautiful dress, red with like polka dots and this um, black fringe hair. And all I wanted is to be like Berta one day. She was my favorite. I designed everything for them. I designed their lives and the clothes and the family lives. And I think it was kind of a way of escaping from what's really going on around me. And uh, one of the stories I do remember is um, when I went to shop to get some sugar and I've queued for about four hours or so and, and just been, but I've been delivered to shop. And that's like, seriously, a luxury. But, uh, I mean, come on. Um, so it was a dilemma, what do I buy with my one card? Do I exchange that for sugar or butter? And I made the decision, go with the butter. And uh, yeah, it was risky. It was a risky decision, but I think my mum was proud of me that day. But I think the, the key thing was that I wasn't alone. Pretty much everyone in Poland was brought up that, that way in days. No one had lots. And, um, and we're all the same, which was quite nice in a way. So there were lots of stories like that in communist days. I mean, like I said, there's lots of concrete, there's lots of grey, and there's lots of serious things going on, but, but I tend to have quite positive memory of it in, in a strange way that, like I said, it taught me how to enjoy life with very little. I think I always knew that I'm not going to live in Poland forever. I always knew that I'm going to move somewhere. I always wanted to travel. And strangely enough, England was always the dream country I want to come to. I don't even know why, but it always was. I think language, which really inspired me, I liked it. However, moving to England, that was a little different story, because I don't think Yorkshire is quite English. That's a very different language itself. So when I came to England, feeling very confident with my language skills, and, and I started talking to Yorkshire people, I had no idea what you guys were saying. Uh, I mean, I went to shop and someone told me, there you go, love. I'm like, what the hell? So it's very, I mean, I love Yorkshire accent now, but it's great, but um, it's a different language, it's really not English. 2010, I've entered Leeds Fashion Show and uh, thinking that I'll be just backstage helping dressing up people and then learning some stuff from it. But I have submitted some drawings as a six piece collection. And uh, I do remember Anula. Uh, the organiser from Leeds Fashion Show rang me and said, like, are you in? And I kind of shit myself that point because um, I thought, what do I do about it now? I just bought a little sewing machine from charity shop and, and started learning how to make clothes because I kind of an application form, I kind of 